What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas Realtor with Signature Real Estate Group. And we're back here again at Montrose by Toll Brothers featuring some more quick move in homes. Have a look around. It is a little bit rainy out here today. Currently 46 degrees. We're gonna have a high of 53 today, 12 mile an hour winds and 2,882 feet above sea level in this rainy area here in the northwest of Las Vegas. I tell you what, it is still a beautiful day. Now today we're gonna to be featuring one of their quick move-ins. This is the Braga. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,031 square feet. Currently sitting on a lot that's 5,775 square feet. And let's take a closer look. Pricing on this starts at $593,995, and that is before negotiation. Got your eight foot upgraded garage door, beautiful exterior. I love it when they put the tile work on these. And to mix the tile with the stone, that looks great. You have your wide, oversized, upgraded front door, your Toll Brothers mail kiosk. Have you ever used one of these? These are fantastic. Keep those porch pirates at bay. I do want to show you really quickly what they've done with these quick movement front yards. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm excited to see how they spec this one as well. Loving those corner windows. This must be the Craftsman exterior. Now HOA out here is $65 a month for Montrose. $84 a month for Sky Canyon totals $149. They also have a SID, which is $724 annually. Let's take a closer look. Now, welcome into the Braga. Quick move in. If you'd like any more details on this home, I'm going to leave a link right below. Let's go ahead and pull it all the way back to the slide. Looks like a lot of their lights are off. Let me flip some switches real quick. Now as we enter, we have our great room, dining, and kitchen. Great room is about 19, seven by 19 square feet. They've added the upgraded fireplace. You got, this is a one and two here. Now I have been noticing, they've been putting these in the great room and the bedrooms and a lot of their quick move-ins. We have the coax cable and two ethernet. You also have your housing for all your home audio. Tubing to run over here for your hanging TV. And you got some power. Now stepping back, you can see on the roof or on the ceiling here, they have a couple of plates. We have a fire sprinkler that's round and then you have, this is for your home audio, which all runs, fishes right back down to here. You have your triple glass stacking slider. It's almost a must have. And then you have your dual slider over here, just complimentary. Now for lighting in the living room, they did add the four pack of LEDs and the fan light pre-wire, very nice. Looks like a six pack of lights and three pendant pre-wires. They have been adding all these pendant pre-wires to their specs as well. So that's nice if you wanna add some nice pendant lights. And I noticed that center channel right above too. So you got multiple outlets for your audio video, but the question is, are you gonna use them? <laughs> I had them in my model home a long time ago, never used them. Now you have the 42 inch cabinetry here, gray quartz tops, gold pools, gourmet kitchen. Looks like they're still adding the, uh, the vent cover there. That's the three inch edge on the quartz, more of that executive style island. Great feels, it matches the cabinetry. Your Sterling Undermount, Chrome Hardware. Very clean. You also have your garbage disposal switch right on top and your air gap. And below, sliding over, we have the KitchenAid stainless steel. That's another thing I'm noticing is for their heart, for their appliance packages on their spec homes, they're putting in some pretty good appliances. KitchenAid's definitely a few levels up on the upgrade and you have your built-in oven or built-in micro. It's your five burner, no griddle, KitchenAid. Looks like they took the caps off there. 
and your event hood. So just finishing up on it. Usually about a 30 day close on these quick move-ins. And that price is before negotiation. You do have some soft clothes here, gold levers, very clean, full overlay, European style doors, your slab style doors, they are beautiful. But you know me, I'm thinking to myself, where are those cookies? Have you seen the cookies? Great size for the cookie storage. You got room for days up there if you want to stack something up or maybe even add more shelves to it, kind of fill it right up. I think that would be pretty amazing. Add more shelves, add a little ladder maybe on the side for storage. Hide those cookies from Dave. So yeah, over the great room, it's 19.7 by 19 square feet. If we slide over to your casual dining, it's 15.6 by 14.7, and then 14.1 by 10.4 in the kitchen. How are you gonna design this? This is open floor plan, four days, completely this transforming. Now let's take a quick peek out back. This one has a pretty good size uh, depth on the backyard. Got the paver stones here under the patio cover, two LEDs, some more pre-wires for lighting. And it looks like they've been adding uh, quite a few outdoor pre-wires out here. It does have a nice set back on the backyard. So the lot size on this home is 5,775 uh, square feet. It's a little bit larger than uh, a majority, but just, just by a little bit. Has a great feel. So you have the single story, uh, it's sitting a little bit lower behind. I like that, it gives you some privacy. And you can kind of see the elevation, the pitch heading down the street. So as you go up the street, it gets a little higher elevation. You have your barbecue stub here on the side and your hose bib. I'm not gonna walk out there today. It's a little bit too wet and I don't wanna dirty up the house, but nice backyard, get your ideas ready. And having the dual slider is complimentary. I would do it. I would, my favorite slider is off of the primary bedroom though. For sure. It's your gas fireplace for those cold winter days. We do get a few of them a couple months. Even right now, it'd be a nice day to kick on that fireplace. But then tomorrow it might be in the 70s again. And here is the primary suite, 14 seven by 14 square feet. Take a closer look at the carpet. This one has three and a half inch baseboards, orange peel texture. They also did add the lights on this one. I do approve. Four LEDs and a pre-wire. Almost a must have. I love it for resale. Now one in one Smurf tubing and your Ecobee. Ecobee and the Nest. I like both of them. I think I like the Ecobee better, although I'm currently using the Nest. I'm all about home automation. All right, so we got some lights on. Where is that light for the shower? Very good, and let's look at that first. She is a beauty. Almost feels like a plaid shirt when I first walked in, the way the design is. Shout out to the designers on this one. Great choice, definitely gives it flair. Got the bench seat with the different tiles as well. Then the floor pan. My goodness. She is a beauty. Tiled to the ceiling. I'll take you any day. You are gorgeous. Spinning it around. We have our vanity, extended island, quartz top, dual undermount rectangles. And where is that water closet? Need to put that seat down. Here is your walk-in closet. Good size. Quite a bit of room here on the left and then nice and deep here on the right. I like it. All I need is that right there. Now they did add some uh, pre-wires for lighting here so you can kind of choose your own. They won't come with the bill, but I like having the pre-wires there. And then you have two LEDs plus 
your single over the shower. I'm in love with that shower. So what do you guys think? Here's your living room, your kitchen, your dining, your cookie storage. Don't forget about that. Now come around the back of the dining. You kind of have like a mud room area here. Here's your access to your garage. So you can set up like a valet or a little uh, coat rack set up in here. Here's your half bath for guests. Great quartz top spread on the hardware. That's an interesting spread. I don't think I've ever seen that hardware piece, actually. It has the deleted base, but it looks like they're doing some work to the quartz as well, cleaning it up. Beautiful doors. These are your two panel as well, eight foot interior doors. And then here's your coat closet. Looks like they did pre-wire some high voltage in there, so if you want to hook up an alarm. And here's the garage. Three car tandem. Feels like 11 or 12 foot ceilings in here. You have these control joints on the concrete. Now the purpose of the control joint is actually so the cracks will come to the joint and crack in the joint. Because you don't want it on the flat surface. You want the cracks, the cracks gotta go somewhere. So if you don't have any control joints, it's almost like a glass pool. As soon as you hit it, I don't know if I said that right. That sounded kind of funny. Here's your Renai tankless hot water heater. You got your water uh, loop for your conditioning. Nice curbs as well, all painted up. And when you're doing your walkthrough, make sure they get your curbs nice and clean. You want to have a realtor like me to be by your side, that's for sure, to do your walkthroughs. You know, it's good to have someone that's been through the process many times. Here's your Rainbird. Wi-Fi controls on this one. On this side, you have your whole house shut off and your water pressure valve. Call your plumber on that one. But if you do need to shut up the water, just lift it up. No more running out to the street. You have your fire sprinklers here, some pre-wires on the wall, and your curb heading up. All right, so we're out of the garage. Now let's take a look at some of the secondary bedrooms. We've seen the suite in the uh, back of the house. So coming in, as you come in through the front door, this is where your secondary bedrooms are housed. This is bedroom two, it's 12.7 by 12.1. Good size, 10 foot ceilings, two windows. It feels large in here, absolutely. They've also got the one-in-one -one pre wire for cable and internet down below. One single fan and light pre wire. Two panel, eight foot interior doors. Now here's bedroom number three. 12.9 by 11.1, and she's got the corner view with the farmhouse style windows. They never get old. 46 degrees out there today, 53 for the high. We're gonna have a sunset at 6.53 p.m., 12 mile an hour winds, 34 on air quality, and 2,888 feet above sea level. So they have these three quick uh, single story move-ins. They have, I think, three more of the two stories. They got quite a few quick move-ins and they've been slashing their prices. Give me a call if you'd like to write an offer on one of these or have a private tour. Love to meet you. Here's your linen for days because new homes, you, you get storage for days. Absolutely. My old home, no more storage in that one. Now here's your shared bath. Great quartz, dual undermounts, nice extended vanity, and they've upgraded the shower as well. Those look like the two by four tiles and the staggered setup. Light gray grout. For lighting the bath, they did the two LEDs above your vanity and the single over the shower. I like that more and more. I think it's a clean look versus the hanging ones. I don't know, I'm, I'm very traditional still, but I like the modern look. Here's your washroom. One single light and a fan up there. 
equipped with a sink. Eco B thermostats for days. So what do you guys think? Your kitchen, living room, dining. All right, guys, that's the Braga model. Quick move in here at Montrose by Toll Brothers. If you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. And if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.